ADSB weather or Sirius XM weather? That's the question the pilots have been asking for the last six years. Fortunately, there's an option now that lets you have both. Garmin's GDL 52 portable ADSB and Sirius XM weather receiver. It's here and we're going fine with it in the latest 40s product PyRep video. The GDL-52 is Garmin's all-in-one receiver. It's a portable device that you just set on the glare shield. It's got a built-in five-hour battery, so it's totally wireless. Just turn it on and connect by Bluetooth to your iOS or your Android tablet running Garmin Pilot. It'll also connect to a Garmin Era 660 or a 796, so you can have a portable GPS like we have in this helicopter and an iPad connected at the same time. So the Garmin GDL-52 has ADS-B and Sirius XM. The ADS-B is the same uh, ADS-B that you know and love that's got uh, the subscription-free weather. You'll be able to get METARs, TAFs, PIREPs, um, and you'll also be able to get dual-band traffic on 1090 and 978 megahertz. On the back of the GDL-52, there's a flip-up antenna. The antenna is for ADS-B reception, and we found flying today that it actually works really well. We were receiving five towers at just about 200 feet AGL today. So you might be wondering why you would want to use SiriusXM weather if you already have ADS-B built into this box. But there's a few reasons. First is ADS-B is ground-based, so you generally need to be in the air at least a few hundred feet, sometimes a few thousand feet before you get reception. SiriusXM is satellite-based, so you get it at any altitude, uh, even on the ground. So if you're in a remote location you want to check the weather before takeoff, you can do that with the GDL-52. It also works in southern Canada and northern Mexico, so you have a little bit of international coverage. In addition to that, Sirius XM just has more weather products than ADS-B. So going beyond the radar, METARs, and TAFs, you also have two types of radar. You have composite and base reflectivity. There's also satellite imagery. There's lightning. There's echo tops, storm cells, icing and turbulence forecasts. Now you have to pay for those. There's a monthly subscription, but there's a lot of options to add on more premium weather features. And finally, Sirius XM weather works nationwide. Wide. Whereas ADS-B, you start to get blockier radar when you get past about 500 miles of your airplane or your helicopter. With Sirius XM, you have full resolution radar all the way out. The other option to keep in mind with the GDL-52 is you can go back and forth between ADS-B and Sirius XM. You can pause your Sirius XM subscription for up to six months at a time. So maybe if you fly a lot in the summertime, you could use Sirius XM for that, use it for the trip to Canada, use it for the trip to Oshkosh. But if you're not flying as much in the winter, you can pause it and use ADS-B weather. Just because you've got two weather data sources with the GDL-52 doesn't mean there's a lot of settings and menus you have to mess with. You can choose on the maps page. You can check uh, the different overlays you want, whether it's Sirius XM composite or base, or the FISB, which is the ADS-B radar. You can choose all those weather products. So you have total control, but you don't have to get bogged down in the details. For example, when you're looking at METARs and TAFs, it'll automatically pull in from both weather sources. And you can just look at the bottom of the window, and it'll show whether it's FISB, meaning coming from ADS-B, or SXM coming from the satellites. Uh, this is really handy on a long trip where you'll get ADS-B weather close to your airplane, but if you want to look out at your destination maybe a thousand miles away, uh, you can use Sirius XM to pull in that METAR and see that. You're also able to add on a Sirius XM radio subscription so that you can get Sirius XM Bluetooth from the GDL-52 directly to your headset. You can also send it to the panel if your panel has that capability. And then lastly, if you need to, there is a uh, 2.5 millimeter audio jack that you could pipe directly into a headset and uh, listen to Sirius XM radio. There's over 150 channels to choose from, um, and it's a great uh, way to pass the time on long distance trips. The GDL-52 also includes a GPS and an AHARS, so you'll be able to get a full synthetic vision uh, display on the iPad, or you'll be able to have a moving map as well as the pitch and bank um, that's activated by the AHARS system. The GDL-52 is not the least expensive receiver out there. At 1149 in fact, it's the most expensive, but it also has the most features. It's really a no-compromise unit for somebody who wants all the features. Great for people who fly high-performance airplanes where the long-range weather really is helpful. Great if you travel internationally a little bit to Canada or Mexico. And great if you just don't want to have to ever worry about being out of range of weather. The best part is there's a $200 rebate going on right now through the end of the year, and there's also three months of a free SiriusXM subscription, both weather and radio. So, great way to get started with it. Thanks for flying with us on this product pie rep video. Follow us on YouTube for more videos like this. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you here next time for a Sporties video.